Welcome to House Calls, the Big Brother Talk Show. I'm your host, Gretchen Massey. Of course, here, sexy sidekick Jace all week. The double S. Sexy sidekick. Oh, sexy like sidekick. That. Jace the face. And today, the most anticipated Big Brother All-Star house guest has left the house. I didn't think it would happen. I thought this man would win again, but he is here with us today. Please welcome Dr. Delicious, Dr. Will, evil doctor. In the head Thank you. Thank you. This is so sake. kind. I Thanks for you, having buddy. I can't tell I'm, you how much I mean, <laughs> we've missed you so much. It's my heart good to see this guy right now. Does it really? Where's your Chilltown shirt? I thought you were going to wear it. I still, I, my mom's got the Chilltown oh, shirt. Awesome. I gave it to my mom. I was like, mom, because you're the reason that I started watching it. But I don't want to get all weird. Are yeah. you going to get, you are going to get weird. I, I, brought, you? I, brought, gonna... I brought you a picture of myself here. Oh, so. Jace has a man crush on Will. No, don't even start that. This is a take back to the sequester house. It says, love Gosh, and miss so you all, crying. your fellow all fallen all-star game. I'll make sure they get this. A little I something bet. for the jury house. You don't think Marcellus and Howie want to take a look at this? Yeah, they're going <laughs> to love think so. that. I, I think, think it's going to so. get a little messy there, that thing. Yeah, I, it's a good thing it's laminated. Yeah, it's going to be covered, put it that way. covered, with, uh, covered now, with stuff. You all know the rules. You cannot speak to Will directly. I I'm want sorry. to, though. It's not I know. me. It's not me. It's CBS. I want to talk to you. Yeah, guys. you said you would take on any questions. Bring so we're going to have to filter it. it, and you're going to have to go through our producer. It's 323-CBS-1000 to get on the air, which is 227-1000. And I'll do my best to ask the questions for you. And I would just like to say for all of you ladies out there um, right now, on behalf of the <laughs> probably the best-looking uh, house calls ever, <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> you owe us, but you're welcome. You're very welcome. So enjoy the show. Maybe loosen up your clothes a little bit or whatever. Relax. Relax. Light some Light candles. something comfortable. Some candles. Romance and, yourself. Uh, this is for you out there. This is going to be the sexiest interview ever. It's not even about Big Brother. All right. Boxers or briefs? Will, first? I free ball. Is that a bad word? Did I already ruin the show? Sorry. No, not at all. Okay, I say I go, go commando. You yes. say free ball. Same thing. I go commando. It's, uh, it's warm in California. No one likes a bat wing. And uh, for me, it's just <laughs> more comfortable. All right. So that was my first hard-hitting question. There now, uh, let's see here from Celia in Arizona. Will, she'd like to know, do you think it would have worked out better if you would have stayed with the Legion of Doom? That's a good question. Um, that's something I've wondered myself. At the end of the day, I just felt that I couldn't trust James. It wasn't Danielle I couldn't trust. It was James. So we had to get rid of him. And then Danielle, after James was gone, I felt that we had betrayed her, so she might not uh, be so comfortable with this as well. So Danielle was just a side effect. I thought it was perfect to betray the LOD. Holla. Why? That was the only way to do it. No, you did, yeah. you did it exactly right. You cannot keep James and Daniel. Exactly. Home. I mean, as great of people as they are, think about it. No, they gotta go. They're good players. They're they're amazing players, those two. And I was scared of them, even though I was in alliance with them. You were scared of them. You yeah. were scared of them. I get nervous. You do you really get, I get the, very did nervous. anybody in the house actually intimidate you as a player? Um, chicken George probably. Yeah, Chicken George. That he made me intense. quiver. No, there was. I, I actually told this to the producers last night. There was um, some people who intimidated me from a strategy perspective. Danielle, excellent player. From athletic perspective, Jace. James, amazing players. And then I'll give credit where credit is due. Um, Janelle, yeah. phenomenal competitor. Yeah, she wins Phenom everything. She wins everything. It is freakish to watch. Yeah, she's... she's she cannot lose. She's a Barbie robot. Yeah, and a lucky Barbie. Yeah, and I think that's why that's what drives the women in the house so crazy. She's that sort of woman you love to hate because you, you're jealous of her. Exactly. I still haven't ruled out that she's not a man. Oh. I think that she could be a man. You think that's still on the know. table up for discussion? Just a little bit. I don't know. Well, I mean, Did you discover that? No, I'm not going to discuss. I thought you were going to go with that, and I'm not going to go yeah. there, but um, I, I wasn't going to go there. All right, then we'll just go to more questions. These are the Super Pass questions of the week. As you know, if you have the 24-7 live feeds, you get them through Real Player. And if you can't get on the lines because they're always jammed with a fabulous guest like this, you can email your questions. So, and you get a free tollway pass. Mm, okay, so this the, one is a little uh, bit convoluted here. So we'll okay. just say, okay, this comes from Nicole. In Burlington, Canada. <laughs> awesome. She wants to know, what do you think will happen with your relationship with Aaron after you go back to your regular lives? And if you knows. do break yeah. up, she wants to know, would it have been the flirting with Janelle that caused a breakup? Good question. Okay, I'll answer this very candidly. You know, you're not allowed to speak to a lot of people. Aaron was my first contact person, so I get to I got to spoke to speak to her last night. And there is definitely some tension. She is definitely hurt, but by the same token, she herself has won a show. She's won two reality shows. Oh, really? She won for Love or Money. I love to discuss that. And so she knows her way around a flirt mance. And at the end of the day, um, we still love each other very much. We're going to try to work it out. I, she clearly has trust issues with me, which she should. I was a total idiot on the show. But um, I'm hoping she you know, sees beyond that and sees that it was a game and, and gives me a second chance. I didn't realize you had a real a serious girlfriend. What's cool, though, is that she has been there, done that. And she exactly. understand. Look at me all like a... True. 
sportscaster here. We'll break down the play, but like this. But anyway, Save my relationship. Do it. No, Aaron, because Aaron won some money doing that exactly what you did. Let me just say this. That element of my game, taken out, gone. That is a huge element. Oh, of it brother. brought me three weeks at least. Hey. A couple of guys like us, that's, I mean, you work Do that Do you angle. wish that you would have made an arrangement then with your lady love you, you know, so that you could go in there and play differently? It, just, it was not going to happen. And I, would, and I wouldn't. Is it because nobody in there you think would be attracted to you? Or do you think it's because? Everybody in there is attracted to you. <laughs> oh, okay. I mean, well, I'm just like, checking. I mean, no, it was not going to happen on the home front because I just. Okay. She, I mean, she already had a rough enough time. She wasn't on for love or money. She had a right, really, you know, so right. I couldn't. And I, and I wouldn't. I, I couldn't. I don't know. Yeah, no, no, I understand. Yeah, and you, and you, I think you made the right. Even though Will did, I got okay. sucked into it, and I, it was something I shouldn't have done, and it was cruel, and it was cruel to Aaron, and it was cruel to myself, and it was a mess. And <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what the hell happened. <laughs> <laughs> I love this game. Okay, Richard wants to know: Do you think he would still be in the house if Boogie had stayed fully committed to his showmance with Erica until this past oh, man. day? He didn't it, sell it. I know. It kills me that my life in the Big Brother house is dependent on Mike's Boogie's ability to showmance somebody. So. Um, Th thank you. I hear them laughing. That I mean, it, if he had, you know, at the end of the day, it was more of a homance, not a showmance. And if it was a showmance, I think he was. <laughs> I think he could have sold it a little better and maybe bought me some time. Boogie was not a closer. He was Boogie, terrible. He strung no. Erica, strung Erica, and then like he would just like and like break it off. You could see the dissension. The I had them having a baby, and he just dropped the ball. I that mean, was so. Effed up, Will. I got to tell you, the whole baby talk. I was like, "Oh, this is getting cruel. This is getting mean." Because she is a woman who just came out of a five-year relationship. Mm -hmm. You mentioned her biological clock ticking, and I just felt so bad for her because truly, uh, up until they baby. evicted you, they made big fools out of themselves for all of women. Oh, they, they really they, did. Uh, give them, a, give them respect, though. They kicked me out right on my ass. They came and around. I will be the first to, you know, they came around. But uh, you know, you're having mental problems when you're encouraging two people who hate each other to, to have, have a, a baby, baby, and you're pretty close to it. <laughs> If you need something to do, yeah, yeah. and they're actually considering You're it. You're pretty bored when they're like, all right, we'll have one. Yeah, Boogie just didn't, he didn't close the deal with Erica. Yeah, well, see, I think he got in too serious, too deep, then it got freaky, and, and then it made it more difficult for him, right. whereas you and Janelle, you kept a real clear, clear uh, well, boundary. Well, see, that was my, the thing is, though, that was my downfall, because she kept saying, mm. will you kiss me, will you kiss me, will you kiss me, why won't you kiss me? She wanted me to kiss her on camera to show that I was committed to her, right. and I couldn't do that, right. but right. I still, my problem was I went so far as to flirt, 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 and then not kiss, so I shot myself in the foot both ways. Right. If I had kissed, I would still be in the show, but you I would, would be, be dumped. Now I may be dumped, and I didn't kiss, and I'm dumped, <laughs> and I don't have any money. Yeah, <laughs> right. Dumped, unkissed, and broke. Dumped. If you're going to be dumped, try to be rich. Yes. But don't try to be poor and dumped. No. Right. It just That's kind of a bad mix there. It's a very bad mix. All right, let's see if any more of these are interesting. Ooh, if Janie would have voted Erica out, would you have taken her to the final two? Hell no. No. I mean, that was Come the problem. They knew what was going on. The thing is, they caught on quickly. It's like, you're gonna, you can't have the most brazen alliance ever and have them be two of the final three. It was going to be a mess. She knew it, and there was no way around it otherwise. And Erica planted the seed, and it grew. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Uh, Janelle is easily influenced. You've said that throughout the entire season. The last Actually, one to, most people are easily influenced. The last one to talk to them, which that was like very true with, on my season with Drew. Like, it was like a... Well, the last person to set him down and say this is it is what he believed. That's why we had to stay up with Erica the whole night when Danielle was ringing the doorbell. Because whoever spoke to her last was going to get her to do what they wanted. Right. Right. That's scary. That's a whole other show. That is scary. That's to know that to your two mind hours tonight? is not your own. <sighs> that people get into that house and you're called the puppet master for a reason. Well, did this you start calling the... yourself that? Or no, did they I don't know where that, that came from. I like Dr. Delicious. What's wrong with that? You like you that? Stick with that? <laughs> he was like surgery and wires, you know. That was him. I know, man. Okay, last one from the Super Pass. This is Terry right here in Los Angeles. What did you mean last night when you said to Julie Chen when you said that you think Janelle might regret her decision? In a personal aspect, um, people have been speculating well, that. Here's the dilemma: if if Erica wins, um, if Janelle wins the the um, HOH, she has her choice of who she's going to take. But if Erica wins it, she's going to have to take Boogie. If Boogie wins it, he's going to have to take Erica. Whereas if Janelle, mm -hmm. you know, won it, well, yeah, who knows what was going to happen? I don't really know what I was talking about. I don't know what I'm okay. talking about now. <laughs> okay, good. Fair enough. I fair wish enough. they wouldn't make me drink on before this show. <laughs> that happens a lot on this show. Yeah, right. Like yesterday, yeah, no, we, we went in 30 minutes and then we're like, where, where are we? <laughs> what? Just add something it, intelligent it there when it I was speaking. Be. Here, <laughs> Terry, just think of something funny and intelligent and put it in there instead. And Thanks. Uh, okay, Elizabeth in Nebraska would like to know, what advice do you have for Boogie 
now, I guess. Okay, I, here's the thing, and I wish I had said this to him before I left. He has a problem with anger issues, and he needs yeah. to control his... You're like, what, really? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> he needs to bite his tongue. He needs to not get hyped up and just be cool about things, not yell at the girls, and just try to slowly evict one. What I'm afraid happened is I left... He did a competition, and then he just started freaking out. And I don't know, but that's my suspicion. Does he not know his <laughs> that's best buddy? That's my suspicion. Does he not know his best buddy? Can I just say this? This is this is Boogie right now. He's sitting in the sidecar, looking over at the motorcycle. Nobody's driving it anymore. No one's Nobody's driving. on the chopper. Boogie's sitting there. He's He's got his orange fedora on, looking around. Nobody's driving him. Nobody's going to drive him home. Uh, nobody's see, driving him home. See, the metaphor I would have gone with is his helmet and the short bus, and nobody's driving that bus with anyway, him. Anyway, he's like getting angry in there. I mean, I don't know. I'm but here's the thing, though. This might That might not be such a bad idea, because if one of the girls wins the HOH, he's going to look so hated to them that they're going to say, look, this guy is such a knucklehead, maybe we can bring him to the finals, at which point I'm going to have influenced the jury. See, okay, that's my question. And that was where I was, yes. Are you done? You're not done with the game, Just are you? Just started. You're this is where, the listen, house. I'm terrible at competitions. I've never won a single competition. I think I'm over 31. But I can manipulate some minds. So I'm hoping this, the jury house is where I'm going to do some work if Boogie can make it to the final two. Here's my whole theory with Chilton right. and you guys. Please. I thought that eventually, because you're the puppet, you're the man, dude. Oh, thank you. I give credit where credit is due. I thought that you were going to break off, a, like, you know, Final Four, whatever, kind of like now. And I thought that your whole tactic was to go and then mine the jury. I didn't say it. I, right. No, that's exact. I mean, that's Mother the, truck the this jury. is the thing. If Boogie can and make then it. And promote Boogie because he hasn't won. Exactly. Whatever. So. And the, Boogie's won some competitions. So that was my whole thing. I thought Will's going to break off and then go work the jury. This is the thing. If it's Boogie and Janelle in the end, Janelle has done a phenomenal job of the competitions. Yeah. But a lot were thrown to her. And the thing is, a lot of the jury members don't realize that. So if Boogie can get up there, give them a sixth sense moment, let them know what was done, then maybe he can pull it out. What Who are knows? you talking about? I didn't realize that. Mm. that a kidding. lot of competitions were thrown to her? No. What about the doll competition? You're kidding, right? No, because we, we even did that in the slow-mo replay. I did a reenactment. Hmm. Oh, where Boogie hands her the doll. He tosses her the doll. But it's the wrong doll. And then she grabs the oh, right. Oh, well, it doesn't even Trust matter. Me, I don't details, even care. details. But but you know what? I don't. It doesn't surprise me that I don't know what the hell is going on. I never know what uh, anybody is up to. My opinion changes mm -hmm. minute by minute. I was just sitting here thinking about you know, corn. Right yeah. Now. All right. Uh, Pierce and I would like to know. I don't even think I understand this question. But was Howie a showman's or true love? A little tongue in cheek there. I take it. I don't even understand what that means. Yeah, with I don't me? know. Yeah, I guess. Uh, well, oh, Howie was in love with me. Howie was in love. This is the thing. I, I, the reason I lasted in this game so long was because Howie had a crush on me. And then when he realized he wasn't going to be able to make it happen, Janelle got, had a crush on me. And then that's what carried me a couple weeks. So thank you, Howie. Your love for me carried me through. Can I just say that as far as douchebags go, can you say douchebags? <laughs> Howie is the biggest douchebag on any reality TV show that there has ever been. Yeah. Well, you know how I feel about Howie. He's the only house guest that I have a true, honest, personal opinion about. Well, let me Everyone hear. Else, I don't, know, I don't know your I think he's a sexist pig. I think yeah. he's a nine-year-old trapped in a 30-something-year-old body. I think he's an embarrassment. He's I got problems. Who are we kidding? I think that when you're going to yell and try to fight Chicken George... What the? <laughs> if I was in the you jury don't house, fight the chicken, man. James or anybody should have stepped up. In the jury house, he was trying to do that. I can. We can talk about this because you're going there. Oh, great! But when you try to fight Chicken George, come on, James. Anybody? They need to step up and defend the older man. Chicken George doesn't want to fight anybody. He wears flowers and <laughs> just like a gay strawberry. I know. Okay. I love the costumes. Oh. I do. That amused me to no end. Julie in Florida would like to know. Hmm. Do you have a? Did you have a short showmance with Neil Patrick Harris? You got pretty excited to see him. Well, I'm a huge Neil Patrick Harris fan. That's no secret. And I think Neil Patrick Harris might be a fan of mine as well, because it wasn't just a coincidence that he showed up. You didn't see other random people just showing <laughs> up. So I think you know I'm going out on a limb here, but I think he you know he had a little bit of a crush too. A little man crush, a bromance to quote you. Thank you. Yes. A bromance. Thank you. But by the way, can I just say that? NPH, Neil Patrick Harris was on the show because of Joan McMichael, the behind the scenes guy for Big Brother that works. Hands off to him. He's not only a friend of the contestants, but he talks to their families. He if he can deal with my family, wow. I mean, he takes care of our business behind the scenes. He makes sure our, our lives are still in order. He does all the production, and Joan McMichael, where credit is due, right there. He did a phenomenal job other, other than keeping my girlfriend from dumping me. Ha not half bad, Jonah. Thanks. Well, when did you first learn that you were really good at manipulating people? Did this begin like when you were a toddler? Or yeah, ice cream, I, I, or? exactly. I remember um, went back to preschool and I was uh, these kids were eating um, gummy bears and you know I 
and just, and just substitute something witty in there because the story's going nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Do you see how many takes? Like these amazing diary room oh, sessions. Do you see oh, the thirty-five take? takes after take after take? <laughs> Do they show those or no? No. no. Darn. No. They, just show, they show it. You're like money. <laughs> They don't know that he's in there. I for, do 45. He's in, he's in there for four hours at a time doing a set. Then he comes working up and he's on it, working a ten on it. Second bit that's Which just I have to say, I'm grateful for because it provides a really nice, no, clean stuff. narrative Can for I the tell show. You who, I'm going to just break this up for a second. Can I tell you who? I, I like comedy and I think the show is right, funny. Right. Can I tell you my the funniest person in oh, Big Brother is sitting right here? Oh, no. Jay? This, is, no. he, this guy, hands down, <laughs> hands down, hands down, the funniest person on Big Brother All Stars. By far. Uh, he truly yeah. appreciates comedy. Because right. there was a lot of people there who were just miserable. <laughs> and it's so boring being there. You, you yeah. have to have comedy. And he really brought that. Yeah. Speaking of comedy, No, it's fun to watch Jace. You're nice to watch, too. It was sad when you left. I thought you'd stay in there much longer. Gretchen, um, I'm hosting, yeah, Jace. I'm hosting house calls today. Yeah, and really? It's like, I don't know, it's like near the end of Big Brother. Yeah. Anyway, who's there? You're never going to believe who's the guest host. <laughs> uh -uh. Who's on the show. Guess. No. Take a guess. Do you think it's Janelle? It's Erica. She hasn't done anything all season. It's Will! What? Yeah! Do you know how many people? Okay. Do you know how many people? You know those made it. I think those were classic. Every single one of them made it. Everybody in America <laughs> now is. This is the new way to communicate a thought or a put down. Is awesome. this? Everybody does this. So you guys are making your mark. Like, are those making it? Because those are great. Well, Neil Patrick Harris came in and we were like, Hey, we want to do a phone call with you. And he goes. What's that? And we're like, oh, man. you're like, <laughs> they make, like, they didn't make it on TV. You're like, this isn't just a common reference now. It hasn't worked its way into the popular culture. Okay, so truly though, you, though, you've been compared to a cult leader. Thank you. By uh, by Bunky, by other people that have, were actually on your season. Well, let me for clarification. George I don't, I don't want is not a cult leader. I don't want Bunky in my cult. Just for just for you know your own edification. Right. I know you guys do not get together. John Lennon is like not a cult leader. What are you talking about? <laughs> I oh, just made think, it. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, it, it is truly fascinating and. Okay, this is going to sound like a stupid question, but would you, are there There's only any... stupid answers, no stupid questions. Great, maybe you'll provide that. <laughs> okay, I'll handle that part. Could you give us any tips for a beginning manipulator? Someone who's like, you um, know what, I want a little bit of what that guy's got. This is the thing. Uh, this is how I'm going to break it down. It's not a lie if you believe it. Mm -hmm. So I talk myself into the, all my lies. <laughs> like, I make up a bizarre lie, then I talk myself into it, then it becomes true in my crazy little brain, and then I tell it to other people. That is psychotic, though. You know that, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, that's what crazy people do, <laughs> convince themselves deal. of their own reality, right? Exactly. You know when you see crazy people talking to themselves mm. at the bus stop? Yes. They don't know they're crazy. Exactly. And Same you're, with Big Brother all stuff. You put yourself in that category only with a career and a nice haircut and stuff? Thank you. Oh, you like the haircut? Yeah. I mean, well, we're <laughs> well, talking about a career crazy anymore, but I like the haircut. <laughs> <laughs> hey, crazy comes in all shapes and sizes. It does, doesn't it? It's that's just, what's scary about you know what? it. Crazy can blend in anywhere. How many completely beautiful women have you saw? Nuttier than Squirrel Turd. Totally nuts. <laughs> just because she's not wearing Squirrel a trash turds. bag walking up and down Fairfax <laughs> Avenue screaming, ah, ah, The sky is falling! Eating pennies. Yeah. <laughs> That's one form of crazy. Other crazy comes in four inch Stiletto Hills and looks nice. Next thing you know, she's burning down your trailer. Deer head and everything. Gone. Oh, only crazy people do, date crazy people live in trailers. Is that what you're saying? No, I'm just saying trailer? I got my trailer burnt down. Oh, by a crazy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Keep up with the show. <laughs> okay. Great. Kristen in Ohio would like to know, did you say you wanted to leave the house as strategy? Oh, yeah, that was my, okay, it was broken into two halves. The first half was complain, 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 break everyone down, make them really depressed, hit the sequester mark, then turn it up and start hitting, knocking out the big guns. So I said I wanted to leave. The truth is I would have been pretty comfortable leaving, but if I if that bought me the way to the sequester point, then I was going to turn it up. Okay. I was the, I, was, I think I was the only one that got you. I, I was the only one that got you. <laughs> Other people I, were just like, all right, I'll leave. I'm com I know, <laughs> but, I, but I mean, I'm coming in and I'm like, so Will hates everything. And I'm like, no, he, it's Will. <laughs> people, Will's in the diary room, like, you know, whatever. And people are like, oh, Will, he just complains and, oh, it's getting on my nerves. And I'm like, exactly. that's just his thing. That's what I was trying to do. All right, we're going to find out a little more about Dr. Delicious. It's 323-227-1000. You should uh, even wear a shirt, man. I, I, we, we're going to take a real quick table. break. Stay right there. Maybe when we come back, everybody's going to be shirtless. I don't know. Stay tuned. Take off your pants and jacket. Yes, Welcome back to House Calls, the I'm Big no Brother problem. Talk Show. I am Gretchen Massey. I am here with Jace. I am here with Will. And we are asking your questions. It's 323-227-1000. You still have a few minutes to try to Better get hurry. a question in. And this is the peak show right here. Gretchen's like thinking, damn. 
It's downhill all these from careers, here. All these years of house calls. Fantastic up in here. It's fantastic. It's boy, finally, boy -rific. they've trusted me with two heterosexual men. I'm going a little nuts in here. Scream all you want, where miles, where anyone can hear you. Because I, I've worked with Gretchen. Gretchen's worked with other people, and like when she works with me, there's like this new thing. And oh, like, I see the vibe. She said no, but she says crazy stuff and whatever. And she's like, Jace, what do you do? It's true. Jace brings out a weird side in me she's that told the me other that she people don't. She's told me that she wants to have sex with, or she dated a clown. You dated a clown you for a while. You had sex with a clown or you wanted no, to have sex I, with a clown? I have a thing for clowns. Well, Nobody wants to hear clowns. about this. It's then, weird. Then, yeah, let's, see, we're let's turn it on Gretchen. That's <laughs> no. interesting. And then what else did she and say? And you thought I was weird. Oh, she said she was going home one day to get some ass. I thought you were a kindred spirit. Don't just when you, scared Just me. when you think being a cult leader is weird, someone wants to bang a clown. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> Will. Just when you think you're the weird guy in the room. <laughs> Crazy comes in all shapes and sizes, isn't that no, what we just, just said? Right. Okay, Shannon in Ohio wants to know, after the power of veto... Why did you let the girls talk to each other alone? Oh, I tried to keep them apart, but um, those two yentas just kept yapping and yapping. Um, <laughs> ha, what do you do, you know? It's like, I couldn't keep them apart forever. Mike Boogie should have done a better job holding his showmance, and I did the best I could. What are you going to do? It caught up with me. You reap what you sow, and that's not a spool of lies. A <laughs> spool and, of lies. You, and, and, and ironically, oh, do you know I was the Grim Reaper? No! I was a good one. <laughs> you were? Yes! Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, dude. Awesome! Awesome! Yeah. I did not know you that. Know, I'll bring in the gloves tomorrow. I got the Grim Reaper gloves. Oh, you should have worn it. That would have been yeah. cool. Grim Reaper. Next time, like, come back. <laughs> yeah! Jason in California wants to know at what point did you think you were in trouble in the house? I think uh, we all saw that. When I walked moment. in the house, it's, you come in with a big target on your back. If you're brazen and loud, ask Jace. Your people are scared of you, and you're, you're so you gotta, I don't know. Just. This. Oh, this is your prediction. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is a. Uh... Let me let me predict what you predict. Exactly. Okay. How long do you think that I thought that I you would stay in the what house? What you're gonna predict? Yeah, yes. she won't okay, predict. do it. A chain it. reaction. I'm of gonna predict that you're gonna say two. Two weeks. He would last only two, two weeks. weeks. I was gonna say three, just because maybe some people got confused. Okay. Let's see. What did I think? I have no idea because I didn't watch your season, so I had the pleasure this season of getting to know the Doctor Will and seeing the manipulation. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. Appreciate that. Five. five. Ooh. Week five. All right. Seems sort of arbitrary, huh? But just, uh, I don't know, this guy five? All right. Don't hate me. Don't like me. I'm just boring. <laughs> thanks, Gretchen. Appreciate it. I but out. then I got to know you. And then actually, I I've five. been saying you were going to win. I've been thinking that you yeah, truly were going to win. Uh, there, was a, there was a point where I'm like, Will and Boogie have wrapped it up. Yeah, it's over. And then you would have won, and I think Boogie would have been second place. Boogie, yeah, you would have. And Boogie needed to just, Boogie did not, he did not close. He Does he have close. any chance of winning the show? I say no. Can I say that? Can yeah, you? of course you can. I mean, that's my... Oh, it's your opinion, man. You're not yeah. in charge of, of life or the way things go down, I so sure. That. Who do you think is going to win it? You think, if Janelle makes it to the final two, she's won it, right? Yeah, hands down. Yeah, I All agree. right. Now, change the subject. Oh. Carl in Florida wants to know, oh, will you really do the amazing race with Janelle? Oh, no. Well, uh, listen, I'll do anything for the right amount of money. Um, no, I, I'd love to do The Amazing Race. That's no secret. I came on this show with an understanding with CBS that if we could make it interesting, maybe make a couple phone calls, they would consider that. So I'm just hoping that they keep an open mind. Hmm. Amazing Race with Janelle. Yeah, would you ever do a reality show? Another one? I don't, I don't know. Yeah. See, the amazing race, though, if you lose, at least you're in Thailand. You're not in, like, you don't have, like, a chocolate a pie in, in your valley. face and, like, a small person jamming it. You know? <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, like, at least you're not, you know, <laughs> buck naked on an asteroid. Like. Which, by the way, that competition was still the coolest ever. Oh, yeah, that was a good You one. think that was the best competition? We're going to launch a 200-pound meteorite height at you. <laughs> but uh, you're going to tell good the, luck. You're gonna have to tell the, the, the public at home that only weighed 50 pounds because of, you know, Legal reasons. Oh, my favorite was when I broke my thumb in the middle of a POV. I'm like, crack! Oh, God! <laughs> like, yeah, how did you... You know, it was funny oh, because you watch you throw, 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 throw competitions. Then you right. your thumb. Then part yeah. of us does think, is he really throwing them? Maybe this is a great cover to still look cool because maybe you really can't win. I don't it's know. It's a little both. I'm terrible at them, too. I mean, I don't care who left week four, <laughs> substitution, eight right. slop. I don't care. I don't never memorized it. But the athletic ones I kind of liked. Yeah. And the rope one I had, I thought I had it, and then... Uh... You broke your thumb the first time you tried to really play a competition. Exactly. Hmm. Exactly. Yeah. Clearly I'm not cut out for this line of work. Can't be both smart and athletic. Thank you. Or either, in this case. I think he's a good mix. Yeah? Of sports and athleticism? Why not? Yeah, sure. Yeah, why not? Why not? Yeah. Okay. All right. Mary in Nevada would like to know, who do you think you screwed over the worst in the house out mm. of everybody? God. 
Where to start, Mary? I don't know. How long's the show? <laughs> right. Um, maybe, maybe Howie. I guess I don't know. Maybe James. What do you What do you guys think? I don't really know. I mean, it was kind of rewarding seeing Howie scream and then that leave. That was awesome. Because um, he was really just confused, and I, I really enjoyed that. But um, I don't know. I mean, you screw a lot yeah. of people over to win the Howie game. Howie definitely took it the, the worst. I don't think you screwed any one person over more than another, but right. I think certain people take things too, more seriously than others, so people may feel like they've been screwed over. Other people get it. That I was just going there with that, and you're going to totally agree with this. The season six people, like, I didn't feel bad for any of them that were leaving because they had to go. At the end of the day. He will say that five more times. End of the day. day. But anyway, what I'm go where I'm going with this is Big Brother 6 people are going to need serious therapy. He's absolutely right. They got off of Big Brother 6 and did not stop playing the game in their real life, and they got True. back in this environment again. Seriously, they're going to need extensive, extensive therapy. Well, we're still, they put him in a snake pit with us. And you know, like... In there with us, and just... And, like, they, like, Howie, like, he, his life was coming to an end when he was walking on the Big Brother house this time. Yeah. It was yeah. much. He's in the jury house. His life's over. He may go to Canada, do a little Jedi bit. I don't know. Whatever. That's They'll it. probably deport him from there, too. That's it. But anybody, evict him from Canada. Anybody that wears those kind of underwear. Speaking of underwear, we talked about that earlier. Mm-hmm, right. How his Commando. underwear selection is just... <laughs> his My underwear favorite, selection? Uh, favorite line from Big Brother All-Stars, how he gets out of the hot tub. <laughs> Jason looks at him and goes... That's a really small penis. <laughs> Jason goes, that's a really small penis, man. It was just so weird. It was, I I'm sure it didn't make that. the show. Yeah, but I didn't if you see got it. the feeds, it was hilarious. Howie, that's one small penis you got. <laughs> what did he say? <laughs> wait, wait, can you can you see it, James? It started like his gut was hanging over. It was a mess. It was a mess. Daisy in California wants to know. Now I don't know if you know Daisy, because her question is, if I dump my husband, will you marry me? Well, Whoa. Uh, Daisy, I'm probably <clears throat> single, so I'm not ruling anything out. No, I'm trying to work things out with Erin. Hopefully she's going to take me back. Um, if not, I'm going gay. But Daisy, <laughs> Daisy's husband, does he not watch this show? Or was he working right now, working hard? Like, mm. if I dump my husband? You know what? Daisy's husband, in, in all fairness to him, he probably has been manipulated and mesmerized by the good doctor, and so he probably would like to participate in that. Can can. If he dumps you, can he hook up with Gretchen? I'm not as easy to get in my brain, so I'm so happy with my husband, we and I'm happy he's going to try to work it out with his. We would destroy Gretchen in the Big Brother house. No, you wouldn't. We would destroy you. You should go How? on next season. Oh. You'd like it. I don't know, dude. I took a tour of the house, and 20 minutes in, I was like, get me up oh, here. It's really claustrophobic. It's bad. I don't know that I could handle it. No, I'm throwing but you plugs. couldn't destroy I'm, I'm, me. I'm throwing plugs. See this? I love this. Throwing plugs at it right now. Plugs? What? To get you on the show. I don't want to be on tell the me show. You, tell me Just, you do want to do it a little bit. No, I don't. A little bit? A little bit. I'd like half a million dollars a lot. Nothing wrong with that. that. But I kind of don't want to have to go through all that effort mm. for it. I already live in a house in the valley. I don't know. Good you, point. You got the pool, the hot tub. Yeah. yeah. Time, to, time to think about stuff. Just bring over 13 crazy people. Yeah. Make your own version. Hang out. That's fun. why I tell people at home. They're like, I do is, it at is, home is with is my it cats. really hard? Lock yourself in the basement for a weekend with your best friend. <laughs> and see if you don't want to kill him when it's over. Do a little practice. Exactly. Just one weekend, no windows, board it up, sit down there and just stare at each other. No TV, nothing. You're going to hate your best friend in two days. Try the Big Brother house. Or you're going to fall in love with your best friend in two days because, you know. You may fall in love when with you break up with them together. and fall in love with them again. <laughs> when you put uh, people together full circle. and you isolate them from the rest of the world, then you have eye contact, then you have sharing personal stories. It's true. You begin to have feelings of love for someone. That's how the showmance work. Did, but did you begin to have any true feelings for Janelle um. just in that moment? I am not a big masturbator in the house, and I was You're really not. hyper aware of that. <laughs> so some people were whacking it all the time, and for me, after 60 days of not whacking it, I was ready to bang a watermelon. <laughs> I want to ret retract everything I just said <laughs> and end this interview. Can I just say, though, that like once you got out and got to the hotel room last night all by yourself, like, <laughs> oh, no. It was a party in my pants, minute. and everyone was invited. <laughs> Wait a minute. There's no cameras in here? Excuse me. And you're sure the security guys? I don't care. I'm taking my clothes off. <laughs> Danielle in Texas would like to know, which of the house guests would you most want to give Botox to? Um, I, listen, I have an open-door policy. If you are in need of a medical treatment, I will consider you as my patient. But I can't discuss who my patients are or who future patients might be. Um, there are some people who are in need of cosmetic services in the Big Brother house, and I think we all know who they are. Howie, I can see your wrinkles through your hat, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys like it when we dyed Howie's hair like a gay leopard? Oh, yes! Oh, Will, I have to say.
say with the hair, and then he did the cheesy mustache. Oh, awesome! God, I felt awesome. like then his face matched his inside. It was Pretty just kind of creepy looking. It was weird with the hair. I have a surprise for you too. Um, there's a gay baby dolphin in the tank outside the door, <laughs> awesome. and you get to ride it for ten minutes. I've been waiting for that thing. Jonah, yeah. let me ride it for ten minutes. I've been waiting for that. So the gay baby dolphin. Jonah came through once again. Thank you, Jonah. Dolphin? A gay baby dolphin. Oh, wow. You didn't have the live feeds? Eight. I did have the live feeds, but I didn't watch them 24-7. We were all Sorry, hoping man. for a pet, and well... Oh, my... and that's what you wanted? Yeah. Oh. My life was one thing. Then I swam naked with a gay baby dolphin, and it took a whole It'll alter direction. your perspective, man. <laughs> I figured some sh stuff out. Some teamwork, too. <laughs> teamwork will take place in that pool. Hey, uh, Randy would like to know, uh, why was Chilltown so anxious to get Marcellus out? Why Marcellus at that point? In the um, if Marcellus was a shoe, he'd be a flip-flop, is what we always said. He just would flip-flop back and forth. We knew he was going to go to whatever side mm -hmm. has the power. We felt he was, he, we couldn't manipulate him. And mm -hmm. so because he was going to jump to every side and we couldn't work with him, we figured he had to go. Had to go. My last-ditch effort throwing the extinguisher, working yeah. Marcellus. I got him to say everything I wanted him to say. It was awesome. They know that they need, and that's the kind of player that Marcellus is. He's very was, emotional. Always has. What he, what, you just pull the little ink, 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 the little string. So close. And then, uh, yeah, I almost. Well, the it. problem is he was ensconced with Janelle, who was like the queen, and she wasn't going to let him, you know, he was her pet. Right. And then we just had to create, a, give a new pet, and then she decided to finally get rid of him. But also, I think it's hilarious when I get people who, to get rid of their best friends. It's insane. Yeah, that's what I think is funniest. I mean, and it happens. Yeah. Until you were voted out, I, nobody ever stood up to you. Not once. Good point. Nobody. I mean, it, it would blow my mind. I would literally, I would just watch, and, and my husband and I both, were, we were always like, God, oh, this guy is good. Well, here's the thing. People, like, abrasion, they go with, like, Howie. People with are abrasive, they go out with abrasion. Howie, whatever, that kind of situation. Will's not like that. Will sets back like in that. the cut. What are you going to do? Yell, scream when he's just like, okay, fine, yell, scream. Okay, can we talk now? And I don't know. You make it exciting for people. You, you promise them secret ninja moves. I mean, how many times did that meeting happen? We are chill town. I, I thought I was it. chill town. I really did. I we all thought we were chill town. town. I had a chill town t-shirt, man. So <laughs> if anyone was it's chill true. town, I got the shirt. There was 13 like, people in chill town. I was practicing my ninja moves, man. I got yeah. my cool kid club card, like, right in the beginning, you know. And then, I know. Then I and it's insane how everybody... People are so narcissistic, too, that, that, that everybody wants to believe that they're the only person you wouldn't lie to. And every single person believes it. It's more telling about them than you, I think, actually. Okay. Awesome. I mean, you, too, but I just think it's she, funny she, that everybody... She just got deep on us. Yeah, whoa. What? That's a whole other level. I'm just going to float down the What the hell am I talking now. about? All right. She's doing these mind games now. Okay, sorry. I was just... All right, then we'll ask one of your questions from New York. This comes from Melanie. Would you feel bad if Erica and Boogie actually had that baby? I feel bad? No, I want them to have a baby. <laughs> I don't know if that made it on the show, but I want, I want them to have a baby. Like, I don't want necessarily my own baby right now, but I want to ease into it, take a kid to the park, teach him to play catch. Someone that you can kind of visit. Yeah. Uncle Will. Thank you. I really think Erica in her mindset and being in the Big Brother house, talking all official with the hands now. If Howie was still in the house, she could be convinced to have a baby with Howie at this Definitely. point. She could be convinced to have a baby with Chicken George at this point. She could be convinced to have a baby with the gay baby dolphin if he was in the pool at this point. That's where Erica's at. She was ready to have a baby. She's ready to have a child. A child of Big Brother. Yeah, and l hopefully, luckily, everybody's getting out of that house soon because the mental breakdowns have been in oh, full swing for good. a while. It's been Who beautiful. Who snapped the worst? Everybody kind of snapped in their own way. I have to say Howie... Honestly, and from everything then we've seen after, he's, I think, has snapped the most. Once you get to the jury, you're going to know how his life is coming to an end. Yeah. At the rap party, it's over for him. It's over. It's a rap. He's going to fade back into the woodpile that he crawled out of. And We have to rap with Will. Is there I anything don't... you'd like to say in closing? <laughs> or while okay. you gather your thoughts? <laughs> okay. All right, big fella, take it easy. Take it easy. Oh, okay. Yeah, I just like to say, man, it's great seeing you, buddy. It is great seeing you. It was great you. playing it the game with you. It was so much fun. You know, it was so much fun. You, it was you, a pleasure. You and Boogie are, even though I, I got a t-shirt, so I'm going to say I was in Chilltown. Oh, absolutely. I mean, Everybody was, was in Chilltown Chill Chill for a minute. We were like, man, Jay, we were like, we love Jace, we love Jason. Everybody's like, he was stabbing you guys in the back. We were like, what? <laughs> we had a, I don't think, I, I know you weren't, though. I, was, I know, that's yeah. the thing, is I know you weren't. And I was yeah. like, I, I refuse to believe right. it. Right, I totally wasn't, so. Is there anything that you, Will, would like your, your hardcore fans, who are the ones that watch this, to know before um, you go? I, you know, I do think I, there's a lot of people, you, I, we, there's a lot of people take a bad rap from the fans. At the end of the day, I hope you guys respect that I tried to make it a good show. Sure, maybe I kicked out your favorite player or made your favorite player cry or have a stomach ulcer. But at the end of the day, I really tried to give you a great show. 
Um, I wish I was walking away with some cash, but I'm not. And you can't, you know, winning it twice was an impossibility. So I hope offering something up in the form of entertainment was enough for me this summer. And I hope you guys respect that and don't stalk or send weird things to my house. <laughs> All right. Well, well, thank you very much. So nice meeting you. Pleasure to meet you, the puppet master. Take I'd love to hang out, but I gotta yeah, go to we'll, uh, get beat up at the sequester house. I'll see you out. in uh, like a week, uh, seven days or something. Yeah, we'll awesome. all be there for the finale. I'm taking so, this. So now, to the uh, sequester house. To the sequester house, right there. That's the look. We don't even. It'll check be much it. needed. And now we're gonna take a real short break, but watch. Let's watch last night as Will <laughs> was evicted from the big. Oh yeah, that'll be fun to watch. <laughs> that'll be great. Cue it up. It's your first TV though. Oh, that is true. Can I watch this? Am I allowed to watch? All right, welcome back to House Calls at CBS.com. That was Dr. Will. I didn't think that we would interview him because I thought he would definitely at least make it to the final three with the uh, way things were going. I mean, he looked to be sitting in the seat, but he uh, ended up sitting in this seat. But can I just say, is Will not a charming fellow? He's very life? nice. He's very charming. He's nice. I mean, Will's like, he comes across when we're on the show, but in real life, Will's a good guy and charming. I mean, you can go... Have, if you go, you go have one beer with Will, next you know he's talked you into killing your dog. And you're like, God, I just met the guy, and I had a beer with him, and he <laughs> convinced me to kill my dog. I got a dead dog carcass. What's happened to me? What happened here? <laughs> okay, the phone lines are wide open now. Uh, you can talk to us. And of course, now you're probably like, well, crap, I don't want to talk to you. I wanted to talk to Will. But, <sighs> We're but Jace is here. <laughs> <laughs> but Jace. You get to talk to Jace. <laughs> Well, I mean, they're sick of me, so I'm trying to. I'm mean, anything yeah, that's still exciting at the end of the season. They love you. Jace. You hear Gretchen. <laughs> love you, Gretchen. Me and my wife would think you're great. Okay, uh, let's go to Jason in Canada. You're on House Calls. Oh, hello, everyone. Um, anyways, uh, let's see. Last night, uh, you know, that there was that endurance challenge, a supposed endurance challenge last night, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, right. That was, that was a pretty much a cop-out. I mean, that, yeah. was, that was too fast, too quick. Yeah, that was very fast. I, mean, you know, I just say behind the scenes, there's a prop master that designed this volcano that, that you know, they put a lot of yeah. work, energy, a lot of money. Hollywood sat here to spew lava, maybe the thing rock shakes, all kinds yeah, of crazy stuff. Yeah, lava. So I'm just wondering, what do you think would have been in that lava? I'm thinking maybe like some sort of goo or chocolate. Oh, that's I know. Like we didn't even get to see how it works. Uh, that, that's what I'm saying, like wasted. I don't know. But maybe that volcano will turn up on some other movie somewhere or something. Something. Yeah, that was Jace a shame. Jace versus the volcano, and I'm like dancing around it in a loincloth. Look for that. <laughs> that could happen. That could happen. You can't have a five-minute endurance competition. It I mean, sucks. I mean, I mean, it's just it they happened. were wanting this big thing. They were, when they were coming back, they were going to show love, and the thing was going to be moving and stuff. It didn't happen. I know. It did not happen, people. Oh. So look for Gretchen and I, and we are going to... We're going to do something with that volcano. I want to be shot out of the volcano. We are going to do it? something for the weird? finale in that in that no my earpiece always i think it'll be out. great if you fly out of it i'll just fly out of the volcano and just kind of sprinkle over the crowd wherever it shoots me i land at the finale at the finale that's my bit that's your can bit we, I mean, you needed a bit right I need, you need I need, something. I need to do something so i think that's i think that's the way to go god you're a genius jace michelle in texas you're on house calls hi gretchen it's michelle how are hi. you today very good michelle i'd like to know who do you think is going to be the final two and the big brother winner I think Janelle and Erica, and I think Janelle will win. That's Very what I good. Think. I'm gonna co-sign everything for. she That's just what said. For. Co -sign you, that. you co sign that. You just you got it. She you, the nail head. <laughs> nail on the head. Yep. All right. Excellent. Tammy in Pennsylvania, you're on with Gretchen and Jace. Hi, Gretchen. Hi. Hi, Jace. Hi, Tammy. <laughs> okay, I'll get to a quick. Um, I think that you're right. That's gonna be Janelle and Erica. Hopefully, Boogie won't win HOH in the final because I think Erica, even if she wins, will take Janelle because she's so angry with Boogie. She'll even accept second place because mm -hmm. she won't want him to get any money. True. And I don't even know that she could win first place, though, up against either one of them. I don't think she could. Yeah. I don't think she could either no, way. No, er Erica has, I mean, I, uh, Erica outside the house, uh, when she had her brain and everything, I liked her. I thought she was nice, but... Um, she's a floater. Nobody respects a floater. Yeah, in the end. a floater. You can not float end. and get to the end, and then so what? No, everybody's like, you're a piece of crap floater. So you still won't win. Piece of crap floater. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait. So she won't win either way, but. Tammy, are you? Someone, yeah. do you? What do you think about Will getting voted out? Did that shock you, or did you? I was excited. I was so glad. I just wish Boogie would be right after him. Oh, Boogie <laughs> will be. Boogie will be. And I like Will. Don't get me wrong. I like him as a person. I didn't want him to win the money. It was cool him. for him to go. Yeah, right yeah. at the last minute, too. Yeah, sisters before <laughs> misters, finally in full effect. <laughs> it was a... It um, is. Boogie in the sidecar. 
Nobody's driving him home. Nobody's driving. But he's like the little puppy that just needed a home right now. Yeah, you know what? Would Who? somebody be the home for the little puppy? Somebody? <laughs> Who out there has any thoughts on Will leaving? I mean, I love the fact that you all stay up to the minute. And you're like, oh, well, whatever. He's gone. Forgot about him. Now let's talk about the volcano. But that Dude, was huge. That's big brother. got him out. That's big brother. You're right. It's like, boom, you're done, gone. You know what I am? I'm the co-host of House Calls. I wasn't even on the that show. That didn't even happen, did I'm, it? I'm like Jace from, you know, oh, yeah, apparently he was on Big Brother 5 or yeah, something. Yeah, something, but something. But now it's... Right now I'm the co-host of House Calls. That's it. I guess all that matters. Will? Is. Will? Who's Will? Will who? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. This evil There's doctor that was like on the show. running the show for like whatever. Now he's just like, uh, Will. Gone. Mm -hmm. If anybody does have any comments about Will, I'd love to hear those because that was something huge that happened last night. But. Can you smell me? A little bit. A little bit. I can kind of smell myself. You can? Mm hmm. It's not like bad. No, kinda but like there's an odor. There's a Jace there's a scent little, going on. And, going on. you know, I'm not going to lie to everybody out there. This is a on the smallish side, this studio, mm -hmm. and uh, I happily try to work with all types. Sean in New York, <laughs> you're on Hello. with us. Hi. Hello. Um, I just want to say a quick comment first, is that I think it would have been great if Janelle and Erica knew about Will and Boogie's bits that they do in the, uh, in the diary room, and if Janelle and Erica did their own, oh, hey, hey, Janelle, hey, Erica, guess what we did? We got Will out. I think that would have been great. It would have been great, but, you know, they don't know. Yeah. yeah. Um, and also, um, last night when uh, Boogie was so stupid for throwing that HOH competition, I think he sealed his fate. I want to know, what was that Richard Hatch uh, reference that he made? Oh, I don't know. I honestly don't know. Richard Hatch. I mean, Hatch, I know who he's talking about. I know Survivor <clears throat> this winning This scares money. me that I know this. Okay, yeah, tell us. What this did that This scares me that I know this. Richard Hatch was on Survivor 1. Right. Okay? All right, people. Now... Uh, there were those, I think they were standing on logs or something to that effect. It was Richard Hatch in the finals or whatever. He just quits because he's like, you have to take me to the end. Because he's like, you know, whatever, you guys can't beat each other. You're both really great players. Both of you have to take me to the end. And he quit the competition. The other two people really, you know, fight it out to win and, or whatever. And then they end up taking George, uh, Richard, and then he won. And then he but that's, won. But that's what he did. And that goes oh. back to the birth, the the dawning that's of like reality television. Twelve years ago. Survivor it was season, won. I think. Isn't it weird? Right there, full circle. Boogie pulls wow. a Richard Hatch. Wow. In Big Brother later. All Stars. Mm -hmm. Wow. So that's what he was saying. He's saying it's going to play out exactly the way that did. But is it for Boogie? Is it the same? No, it isn't the same for Boogie. He was trying that strategy. Boogie's going home. He is, isn't he? Like it a little seemed, puppy. He just he somebody deflated. Gave him, someone gave him a home. He deflated after Will left the house. Let Boogie be your your dog. Can you? Can you let him just be your dog? Mary calling from New Mexico. You're on house. Mary, call. Mary, why are you bugging? <laughs> I just want to know what you think about Boogie's mental house in the house without Will. Can't do it. You see him? Can't. Little puppy without a home. He's, <laughs> he's scared. He's freaked. And he's trapped in there with two women scorned. I do not envy him. His best friends in the house right now are four spiders. So you think about your mental health. If your best friends are four tarantulas, it's not good. Yeah. Oh my God. I mean, it would be like a worst nightmare to be to to like have a woman know that you were playing her and then be trapped with her and can't leave for a few more days. And we all know that hell hath no fury like that a woman once scorned. True. We know this. Amy and Canada. We learned that in Bible school at a young age. Yeah. Hell, brim, a lot fire of Shakespeare stone, and Bible whatever. School. It's nothing compared to a woman once scorned. So good luck, gentlemen. Start. Your Hello. Hi, Amy. Hi. Sorry. Hi. Oh my God, I got through. Woo! I know. I'm, like, so nervous. Don't okay, be nervous. Cool. Relax, We're going to walk you through relax. it. We're going to walk you through it. We're all going to take a breath together first. Place. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> We're in a safe place. We're in a safe place. What did you think about seeing uh, Dr. Will here? I was upset. Because you, you, are you a Will fan? Oh, yeah. And a Jace fan. And a Thank Jace you. fan. I love you and the Stephen Five. Thank you. She knows an attractive man when she sees one. She oh, does. yeah. <laughs> Appreciate that. Okay, Amy, so what would you like to say? Um... I heard that um, there was a conflict between Will and Julie Chen. Did you just that say he got upset because he called her a sweetheart. Yeah, oh. I've heard. I heard that myself. That there was a conflict. Did you notice Will yeah. last night with Julie Chen? Though he goes, Julie, you and I have chemistry, and then Julie kind of backs off a little bit, you know, a little bit, because uh, yeah, yeah, little truth to all of that. So, yeah, any controversy though? I don't know. You know. Yeah. yeah. Less moon vests. All right, Amy. Could be shutting the whole okay. thing down. What do you think? Are we done? Um, I guess so. Well, you got, no, you got something, you, you got, got something, something else? Just say it, say it. Just say it, it's okay, say mm -hmm. it. No, I just thought, 
It was unfair what they did to Jace, how they, like, backdoored him for a second time. Yeah. I agree with that. It is unfair. I'm not a fan of the backdoor, and I got it twice. First yeah. it was six fingers, now it was nine. You yeah. Know? I mean, where, how where's much it, can a man Where's take? it going to end? People are going to put the whole fist in there? Amy, Amy. Oh, my God. Okay, see, this, this show is so different when they, when they bring in the guys, the dudes, the dudes that are not gay. Have you noticed? <laughs> the show gets weird. The show gets like, is this, are, are we going to be censored? I don't even know. Are we going to get we got to hurry down? up, man, because it's getting steamy in here with Jace. I got a Julie in Pennsylvania. You're on house calls. Hi, Julie. Ooh. Mm. Hmm, that never happens that, on this show. That last comment there. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay, Casey in Texas, you're on Hi. House Calls. Hi. How are you guys? Pretty good. How are you? Jace, you have a beautiful body and you have a beautiful look. Everything about you is beautiful, but please do something with the shirt, please. The wife, with the shirt? The wife beater? The shirt. Yes, the wife beater, for God's sake. You don't no. like it? Oh, why don't you like it? Okay, come on, Jace, Jace, come on. Anyhow, but besides that, here we go. I am what are you, so are you wearing a moo, moo right now? Yeah, I am, uh-huh. Okay. Listen here. Look, the girls, I'm so glad that they were able to get, are going to be able to get out of there with some sort of their dignity, some sense of dignity Sisters left. Sisters before misters. Because after they see how badly they were played, it's just going to be awful, and I'm so glad that they'll be able to say, well, at least we're able to get some sort of dignity left. Yeah. And Jace, I love you, Jace. Thank you. I do, but come on now, please. Please. You're trying to get me to take my shirt off. That's what you that want, isn't it? I know where you're That's going with this. That's what you want. I bet we I could get please. that for you, Casey. I bet no, you could get it. Because okay, the show well, is ending. You know what? It would look better if you took it off. See? That's Actually. where she's going. Next, she's going to not like my pants. You're going to wear a shirt. Put a different <laughs> shirt on. Come on. You're not a wife beater. Okay. All right, Casey. Way. Maybe it could happen for you. Because we are sort of winding down to the show. So, Jace, you do whatever you need to do to please your fans. As Next. I rattle on with the business here and Next say caller, thank you. Jace, I don't like your pants, Jace. Everybody. Uh, your pants, those pants aren't really flattering on you. Jace, those underwear. Um... You know, those Mr. T underwear you got on there? I'm not liking those so Looks much. like there's some demand for you to perhaps mm -hmm. work in the clothing removal business mm -hmm. a little bit. Mm -hmm. All right, everybody. That was our show today on eviction in the middle of the week. And now we are down to the final three. So, everybody, of course, stay tuned to your feeds. Don't miss Thursday night's episode. Jason and I will be right back here tomorrow, 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific. Thank you so much for watching House Calls, the Big Brother talk show at CBS.com. Don't what? hold anything against us that we said.